Okay, so we're going to go back to um, looking at creating some basic artificial intelligence. Last time we did this, we just got like a character or an enemy to kind of follow you around, and when it catches up with you, uh, it took away some of your health. Okay, so what we're going to do now is going to create um, a type of enemy that's kind of like a like a turret essentially that um, like fires at you um, and can like turn and face you. Um, and that kind of thing okay so what we do to get started same way we did before we're going to create a new blueprint um, and it's going to be a character okay um, i know it doesn't necessarily walk around with a turret um, but we do want it to be able to move potentially uh, to sort of aim at the character or at the player so we're going to do that um, call it enemy turret i'll do um, <clears throat> open that up. So in the event graph, get rid of all that. Um, what we need to do is we need to add in the thing that we had before um, that was called pawn sensing. So add a component pawn sensing. Okay. Um, we can sort out that sensing um, later. Remember, we can change the um, um, have the site radius um, and the peripheral vision and things like that, but we'll get to that. We're going to start with the blueprint for it first, though. So we select pawn sensing that you've just added, um, and what we have to yeah. So we're at, uh, we're after add on C pawn. So it's going to happen when um, uh, it sees the player. Okay, so we need to put in who we want it to see. So cast to a person character, link those two up, and what we're going to add in here is something called a sequence. Okay, sequence is essentially if you want um, multiple things to happen as part of your event. Okay, um, but what we're going to put in from here first of all is um, set actor rotation okay so the first bit we're going to set up is um, just to make the enemy sort of turn to face the player when it sees him okay so it's going to go from rotation find look at rotation okay um, target we want to get the actor's location. That's fine. Um, and actually, we want that same from here as well. Get actor location again. And the one that's in the target. Hold on. Let's move these up a bit. Sometimes you just got to sort of organize your blueprint so you can see what's going on a bit better because I want um, this one from the target to come up to the character or the player. Okay. Um, okay. So before we go any further, just compile that and we're just going to add in um, a mesh of some kind to use as uh, this enemy. Um, this time I'll use a cube just so because with a sphere you can we won't be able to see whether it's turning necessarily. So we're going to use a cube so we can actually see that. Um, the car pawn sensing and sort that out a bit. So uh, peripheral vision first so we can see what's going on. Okay, site radius. That down a little bit. Okay, should be about fine. Let's compile that, close that down, um, and then we can just put uh, one of these guys into the game. Put in, let's put him over the other side, it's not interfering with anything else, and we're testing. Okay, so see what happens so far, push play, and over here, ok, 
Okay. So he is kind of looking. Let this guy hear me. You have to be quite close though. Okay. This is something you might want to just play around with. So obviously in terms of um, uh, the sensing. Um, so I'm going to increase the radius, increase the peripheral vision angle, compile again, try again. Okay, there you go. So you can see, you can see the box moving. So wherever I move, the front of that box is going to follow me. Okay. All right. So what we need to do now um, is we need a projectile for it to fire. Okay, so within because we're using the third person blueprint, we don't have a projectile already made like you would have if you use the first person blueprint. So what we're going to do is we're going to import the, just the projectile from the first person uh, sort of preset template. Okay, so what I've done preemptively. Um, just because also you might want to also, you might have another um, Unreal project that you might want to transfer something that you've created over into another project. So this will kind of also kind of teach you how to do that as well. So what we're going to do, um, this is just the first person template. Okay. So if I come to Blueprints then we'll see the first person projectile. And that's what we want in our um, other project, this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click it. And I'm going to go to asset actions and I'm going to migrate it. Okay, so you need to migrate this asset. Okay, when you push migrate, it will show you everything that is associated with this object. Um, so we've got the material for it, the actual, um, the mesh itself and the blueprints for this. Okay, so you don't need to do anything with that, you just push OK. Then you choose where you want to send it to. Okay, so I'm going to go to um, my desktop. Um, oh, that's not where it is. Uh, Unreal Projects, it's in here. Okay, and what you need to do is when you found your folder for the project that you want, um, you push on the content folder and push select folder. Okay, and then down here it will say content migration completed successfully. Come over this way back to your main project, and now I can see now that I've got these folders added. Okay, one of them is first person BP, the blueprints, and now I have this first person projectile. All right, which I need. To set up the next bit to actually get this guy to fire something at me okay so it's going to fire this projectile at me okay and also we can modify this projectile um, however we want obviously we could have created one from scratch but ultimately it's easier to just kind of transfer this guy over and use him for now okay so that's all we'll do for now um, the next bit will set up um, create this guy fire to fire at me okay